I saw Jeannie come on. So Jeannie, happy birthday. We over the holidays. I know you had one. All right. Yes, happy birthday. Happy belated birthday, Jeannie. And today is Mr. Will Garson's birthday. Happy birthday, Will, out in the great state of Wyoming. Good to see you. All right, everybody's coming in. Okay, coming in hot today, Coach Meyer. Yeah. Coming in on two wheels That's after right. this Christmas, Christmas holiday. So we're going to kick it off. Go ahead. Big waves to you. Happy Monday. Good to see you. So many of you, good to see you. Hey, Mr. Chris Doyle, my buddy up in Jackson, Tennessee. Let us know where you're tuning in from in the chats and the comments, unless you're on the treadmill. Try not to not, try not to type on the treadmill, but uh, <laughs> good to see everybody. And I want to tell you, I got to give a big shout out. I know Myra, I'm speaking on her behalf and Andrew is too. Guys, thank you so much for all the heartfelt and warm messages about the Coach's Corner through the Christmas break. Um, it was it was really, really awesome to hear from you. So we thank you for that. Today's word is joy. Um, and, and I love this coming out of the break, coming out of, the, uh, of Christmas. You know, if you look at the word, the definition of joy is intense and especially ecstatic happiness. Or in an instant of such feeling, you just, you just have something that overcomes you, right? You can feel it. When you're joy-filled, there's just something in you. You just beat to a different drum that day mm -hmm. and or that, that moment. And so one of the things I came across and I, I kept thinking about is when I think of joy, I think of having a best friend. You know, I saw um, Sylvia, Coach Myra. It was her you know, a special day for her this weekend. And, 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 and I know their best buddies been since high school. And, you know, it's just something about uniting with really good friends. They make you have joy in your heart. You know, you relive old times, you laugh, you cut up, you're just you, right? You're, you're, you're at your truest self, but there's so much joy when you're around your BFL, right? Um, to have joy in your heart, one must know how to appreciate the small things in life. I wrote that down this morning. It's the small things that bring us joy when we think about them. And then I came across Norman Vincent Pell said, think joy, talk joy, practice joy, share joy, saturate your mind with joy, and you will have the time of your life today and every day. And that's so true. When we focus on joy and the things that we got in our life to be joyful of, it just it starts your day off on a great note. And 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 I love that. So really quick, I, I just want to touch on a couple of things on how to find and create more joy in your life, because, you know, we're all at different points. You know, some of you are on here, you're tuning in, you're watching the recording and and you might be at a place where you're struggling right now. Like, like uh, there, there might be tough things going on in your life. I understand. And how do you create joy when you're going through those? Or maybe you're having the best time of your life. How do you keep that going? Well, here's a few things. Number one, and it's going to be a little bit different, but I'll tell you this, going into a new year, start budgeting. You go, Brent, that's a little crazy. Start budgeting. Here's the thing, your finances are one of the biggest parts of your life, like it or not. And one of the things I come across is, man, when you go through some financial struggles, how many of you has been there before? I know I have. It leads and it causes stress. So if I could start right now budgeting, watching what's coming in and going out, it, it, it helps keep staying, it helps keep staying in balance. Number two, do something hard and do it well. I love this one. Undertake a challenge, activity, and have a no retreat mindset and say, I'm going to master it. I'm going to master this challenge. The process of setting the goal, learning the necessary steps to achieve it, gives you the best sense of, of self-worth, self-esteem, pride in yourself because you saw it through. 
You saw it through. And then the last one, we'll turn it to coach, is actively seek joy through inspiration. I mean, we all would look at like meditation and prayer as two obvious ways. Um, but what about just a simple walk out in nature, listening to the birds chirp, listening to the squirrels run across, or seeing the squirrels run across in front of you, seeing the actual joy and beauty of nature brings about peace and joy. So think of ways that you could actively seek joy through things around you that inspire you. So coach, I'm going to turn it to you. It's a good word today. All right. I'm going to say thank you very much, coach. I appreciate those words and thoughts. And uh, I think you are uh, spot on on that very first one to help us have more joy. Uh, but uh, Andrea, I saw, yeah, I believe it's Maddie. Was that Maddie? She is so cute. And I'm so glad that she wanted to sit up in her mama's lap because before I get started, I wanted to share, I had a little help this morning as I was preparing for today. Dolly Ray was determined to get up in there and bite on my, she was determined to get on the corner of that book, but at the same time, he, she, she was bringing me joy, so thank you. I thought y'all would like to see that this morning. So when we talk about joy, you know, I think of the word joy and I automatically think of happiness too. I don't know if you correlate those two things together, but you know, I do. Uh, so what's the difference between joy and happiness? I've got a few things I'm going to run through very quickly with you. Uh, you know, joy, it's a little word and happiness is a bigger word. And this will all make sense here in just a little bit to you. You know, joy is in the heart and happiness is on our face. Just like I saw when, uh, when Maddie got in Andrea's uh, lap, I saw this happiness immediately. So uh, it's on our face. We wear happiness on our face all the time. You know, joy is, it's of the soul. You know, I don't know about you, but I've never really talked about or really, I don't know why, but we talk about soul and it, in our soul. But after I thought about this, I thought, you know what? This is a very, very profound statement that joy is of the soul and happiness is of the moment. Does that make sense? So also joy transcends, happiness reacts. Joy embraces peace and contentment. Joy runs deep and overflows while happiness hugs hello. Joy is a practice and a behavior. It's deliberate and it's intentional. Happiness comes and goes. Joy is profound and scriptural. Joy says, don't worry, rejoice. Happiness is comforting by saying one of my favorite songs, don't worry, be happy. Joy is truly an inner feeling, while happiness is an outward expression. A person will pursue happiness, but most all the time, we're going to choose joy. Remember this, happiness doesn't bring joy, and joy isn't the byproduct of happiness. Regardless of your faith and what you believe, joy is present inside of everyone, and it's an untapped reservoir of potential. It's possible to experience joy even in difficult times, it's possible to know joy or feel joy in spite of grief or uncertainty. Joy doesn't need a smile in order to exist. That really resonated with me. Joy is always present in the moment. That reminded me of Kevin Elko's statement of be where your feet are. Same thing with joy. Joy is always present in the moment. Every moment when happiness is present, it's larger than life. It feels good, but always remember that happiness is a little fickle too. It can be present for weeks, but then it can go away in an instant. I've had that happen. True joy is constant. Joy brings meaning to life, and it brings life to life. So. 
you know, at the beginning, I said that when I hear, when I think of the word joy, I think of happiness at the same time, but also let's all reflect back to our vacation Bible school days. There was a song that we always learned, got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart to stay. So maybe gave you a little memory lane right there at the very end too, but the vacation Bible school days. So, but anyway, I hope that everybody has a day full of happiness, but more importantly, hope you have that joy in your heart. So have a great day. Love y'all. I just look forward to this day and this time every morning more than you realize. And I'll see you tomorrow morning. I'm smiling inside. Yeah. Coach, I, 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 I'm i thinking about the Bible school now. Yeah. Haskell Sparks. I remember it'll probably Haskell be, Sparks. It'll, that little deep, song will deep. be on y'all's mind joy, all day joy, now. Joy, joy, <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, guys, have a great day. We love you. We're grateful for you. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye, guys. Thank you, coaches. Thank you, coaches. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.